whatever the ruling that uh, Supreme Court will pass, eh, it's for me, I was number then that my live life. I was very shocked. Because, to be very honest, eh, if you can allow such an NGO, an organization, for me, I've registered my organization, yeah? I'm still in the process, but I've registered, I've, I've done that registration, I know the process. It's not an easy process. It's a long process. Mm -hmm. By the time you finish register reg registering an NGO, it means there are steps that the DCI, all these people have gone through, mm -hmm. and even there's a they, they must read your memorandum of understanding, and they must read your constitution, mm -hmm. and they must know who are in the board, and everyone who is, you understand, in tail, who, who, who is in, in that organization, mm -hmm. and what is the plan of the organization to do. And you must state it very clearly. So if everyone read that thing and knew that this is what these guys are planning and they approved it, it means there's something wrong somewhere. Because mm -hmm. my question is, if you can say this thing in, in the constitution is a crime, but when it comes for them to come and mingle and, uh, you understand, and group together and uh, go for any activity as an NGO, it's okay. Then there's something wrong. It means... Drug dealers can come together and register an NGO. It means bandits can come together and register an NGO. It means terrorists can come together and register an NGO. To a level of even rapists can come together because if something is a crime, how do you allow from that rule? Because that's criminality. From that rule, it's a constitution. Mm -hmm. And you see, the power is with the people. And, with the people. and from the word go, I, I remember even when we were, we were changing the constitution, some of us, we were vocal a long time ago, and we said, this constitution is not okay the way we want. But we were told, mm -hmm. that one we can rectify. And this was the issue. Because the issue comes in through the point of gender and sex. Mm -hmm. The definition of gender and definition of sex. Because if you can't classify sex as just the act. You understand? Mm -hmm. Sex is gender. So the moment you just classify sex as just the act alone and leave it on the other side, it means it's left for everyone to translate the way they want. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's my problem. And I always tell people, the reason why this NGO, let me tell you the truth, the reason why this NGO is registered, they want to go to schools. That's the purpose of that NGO. Mm -hmm. They want to go to schools. You understand? Mm -hmm. And if they go to schools, if they go, they start talking to other people, you don't know what they're going to tell people what they're going to tell our kids. Mm -hmm. You understand? If they're going to tell our kids things that we know will change their mentality. You understand? Mm -hmm. That's a foundation for something that will never uproot it in future. So right now, we need to nip the bud. Early as now. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because the moment we let it grow, we will not cut out that tree. That tree will become a baobab tree by the uprooting it will be another issue. Pengine niulize baada ya wewe kujitokeza kuhusu hii issue yote. Eh kuna simu umepata pengine ukambonya maze pengine Let me tell the truth. Nimepata threats mingi sana. Na wananipigia wananiambia eh you know you're dealing with powerful people naambia in fact there's one I told nikamwambia I'm not going to report to the police. I'm not a coward. Why should I report to the police? I want to face you. Wacha nikuje Kenya tukutane. Face to face in public. Sasa kia tamambe eh eh we meet in public. I'm not scared of anyone. I'm not scared of anything. Mm -hmm. You understand? I've been told those guys are very powerful. If you deal with them, they'll finish you. I'm not scared. I'm not a coward. I'm not reporting anyone to the police. By the way, if someone has an issue, come, let's meet. This is the media I'm announcing. Come, let's meet face to face. Eyeball to eyeball. I'm so prepared, man. What? What? You know what grow up? No, I don't see security. I don't see you. What do you mean? Let me tell the truth. In life, ni meishi. So, the, kuna vitisho zingine atu, zizi ya zizu wangi. You understand? Mm -hmm. You must stand for something. Yeah. You must stand for something. Yeah. And, 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 and I'll tell you the truth. This journey is not as easy as people think. I know it's going to be tough. Because, you know, let me tell you the truth. By the virtue of the Supreme Court, it's not the High Court, it's the Supreme Court that has already, already ruled on this thing. It means reversing it is not a joke. You understand? We have to wait for another sitting. And if they don't sit, I'm telling the truth. We should go even to the level. This will sound like weird. This will sound, people will say, hey, we are not get from out of, I've done my research. It ended to the level whereby 
Pakas get a referendum, this thing must be changed. Okay. It must be changed. Sababu, normally we, know, uh, we normally see a cancel culture whereby uki ongea vitu ambavu watu wengi au some powerful people awakubaliani nazo, you know, you tend to be cancelled, you know, by the community, social media zako, accounts zako. Pengine uko tayari kwa hiyo? But they, if, if you follow me on social media, you'll discover Instagram by now. Number one, walitua post zangu. Number two, you see, hiyo unakuanga, hapo juu wangi nanakuanga paid partnership. Miyangu wa iwezi. So it means, I can monetize my Instagram. I'm ready for that. Number three, my Instagram can never be recommended to anyone. You know, when you scroll, unapata, mtuara uju, mfollow, imekua recommended. Yangu wa ita haikuwa recommended. So, like zangu na, na, na hits zangu za kwatuku, walo rani follow peke yake na utakuanga nao. From now, nimeandikezo vitu zote. From now, henceforth, I'll never monetize on my Instagram. I'll never be recommended, you understand? And they are still deleting my posts. Mm -hmm. And they've given me my fi the final warning that they're going to delete my Instagram. I'm telling you the truth. I'm ready to stand for the truth. If you're not ready to stand for the truth, at the end of the day, you'll be a coward. And if, you, if all of us become cowards, this thing will have... One day I went on Twitter and I said, is there a parent? I want to do a research today. Is there a parent who can raise their hand and say they're supporting LGBTQ? Because everyone who was... Everyone who was throwing stones at me, nilikuwa na the young people there on Twitter, na nimetumiwa mawe na kila mtu. And the best thing che nilifanya, the first day nilisema, I know, number one, they'll come with threats. Number two, I'll be banned. Number three, they'll create a propaganda, which walisha create, wame create a propaganda, waka sema, oh, you see, they use the same, same propaganda. Oh, liachwa, oh, you understand, eh? They'll use the same, same propaganda. They, they'll come with another narrative and say, oh, I'm and push the agenda. I'm like, what, what do you mean? You understand? So, I know. And then the third agenda, I know. I'm going to do research. The third propaganda they'll come with it, they'll say, ah, you're going to say, because you're going to say, you understand? We know those, those tactics. We know them. Kindly, you guys, look for another tactic. That one is old school. Look for another tactic. I'm ready to deal with you. I'm ready to battle with you. And I'm ready to sit down with you to argue with facts. If anyone who supports can come and sit with me, we debate. I'm willing. I'm willing to poke holes in that stuff. I'm willing. And I'm ready. But maybe we can do an issue of LGBT community. LGBT area. Community, uh, ni kitu ambao ni sensitive sana. Yes. Na maybe wewe ambao, ile society umelelewa mazingira yako siyo ya hii community. Na agenda yako maybe ni kukomunikate kwa edikietu watu wa jokweli kuweka vitu wazi. Of course kuna watu wengu wana feature wazi, kuweka wazi. Na company yoke online imekuwa na backlash, wasewa na kupiga vita most of the time. I don't know now next move na make ni gani, maybe kuenda ku ground ama ku involve corporates, ku involve uh, government, kuweka constructive sit down a conversation whereby what one has expressed feelings out, interests out, and to come a something productive and engaging. And then another thing is that since you maybe come up with a fikiwa karibu and bio, maybe we make a threat. And I'm on the pen up here, we work hours. I'm still bad with time. We're just going to work hours. Yes. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So uh, to answer your question, number one, I know what I'm dealing with. Certainly, kids should do because even from America, from Manajua, because these kids. If you do a research in Kenya, if you do a research in Kenya, most of these people, they turn and become the LGBTQI in high schools. So it means the high school, it means our, our high schools are the breeding place for these things to happen. So it means there's a gap somewhere, it means there's someone who's promoting this thing, and there's a system that is working on it to continue. Because most of these guys, you will it's next to impossible to meet a kid who is in primary school to tell you that they embrace you. such narrative. But after high school, that's when you start seeing these people. Uh, question number two. What next? He asked what next. What next is, eh, as you speak, as you speak, there are some buttons, but then you press, you speech is little you can press this button. You understand? So there are some buttons in the press for very powerful people to make a speech about LGBTQ. Now, in this country. for very powerful people to make a speech about LGBTQ in this country. It means, apart from that, I have friends who are lawyers. I have friends who are politicians. We are using all ways possible. If it's going to parliament, if it's going to law, if it's to try to see what's the next. I've, I've spoken to my lawyers 
who wameshani pata the definition of what should be done next apart from that nimeongea na machaches as you can see even as you speak right now churches are always meeting about this issue they are looking for ways to approach it there's something called advocacy advocacy is very powerful even in the supreme court they listen to what people are saying because power is with the people yes supreme court is final but advocacy can make us go back and review whatever was passed you understand so i'm busy with advocacy and there are there there are people who i'm talking to who can help me or we can come together and make sure we change whatever is happening this is a narrative that these guys were throwing to see how we'll behave the more we talk about it the more they figure out what's our reasoning towards this issue so they know even if right now we become loud and we object this move they know where we sit and how we reason and then come back again with another plan so it's just for us to be gatekeepers no uh, daddy owen of course your sentiments kuna vile zina but zina mpatano na zile za pastor team wangi uh, he also spoke the same against the lgbtq community and even proclaimed judgment or if in case the law is passed in kenya do you think uh, maybe kuna kwa na repercussion if such laws are passed in kenya spiritually am i as you as a christian are there laws are there things repercussions against whatever will happen eh, as a as a spiritual person this is what i'll say eh? i'm not I, I, i don't believe in conspiracy theories eh? but as you if you guys have been on tiktok or on social media there's an incident that happened in brazil they had something like a carnival they express like they celebrated for like a few days celebrated satanism they even build a very big demon a eh? model of an idol celebrate yeah, to worship you understand and they they even had a, a man who was dressed like jesus and they were whipping him on the streets and they were shouting and celebrating and you know what happened after that a few days later there was great floods earthquake in the same same street you understand so it's just for you to translate what we know if that thing is right or wrong and even we were taught so many of us we were taught we know about Sodom and Gomorrah and and I, and I told everyone this thing is not even about Christianity alone even the muslim don't agree to this so it's not a christianity issue even the muslim don't agree in fact even the muslim is is even worse they don't even agree to this you understand for us we have even moment to discuss <laughs> when we've done interviews with some of the lgbtq members they have said kuna wale wako kwa government also they are approaching them to wako in relationship with them so maybe you fighting this thing wanasema it won't even work because already but that's the same thing in yambiwa yambiwa this one you'll not win trust you me we know i've been in so many battles i've been in so many battles the ones that i know they are different approach they always say there are so many ways to kill a rat you understand So those threats don't work with us. Power is with the people. We've seen dictators fall. We've seen some even in this country we've seen so many people falling from you know from grace. And right now as we speak we know the plan is to make sure that they change the constitution to favor them. And the moment this thing becomes law there's nothing we can we can do. But trust you me so many Kenyans are against this thing. And If you go for a, for a referendum that's when you know how much Kenyans do on this thing. Yeah, the few of course we always have this few people here and there who will always try to change things according to law. But the truth always prevails because our constitution is based on our customs, on our religion or on 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 who we are as a people. You understand? Because constitution don't look the same. You can go to another country, the constitution is different from ours. But for us here our african customs and traditions don't allow this christianity don't allow this even the muslims don't allow this so who are we but then uh, looking at the whole scenario what one thing I'm, I'm, i can point out is many countries ambazo ziko well developed than kenya first world countries wamejaribu ku fight to kashin what makes you think that sisi kama wa kenya tutaweza bana our neighbor here our neighbors here wame kwanza wamesha pass law Uganda so what's so hard you understand because the the thing about lgbtq has been if you if you if you do your research very well if you do your research very well 
Why are they campaigning for this thing to happen? You understand? Why are they campaigning for this thing to happen? Because, number one, those people in the West, they, right now they're fighting binary issue. You understand? They, are, they, they don't know. And right now, if you call someone he and it's a she, according to she, her, you can be jailed. I'm like, what are you talking about? There are only two genders we know in this world. You understand? So no matter how much you change your gender, no matter how, how much you change your appearance, when you die, 50 years from now, 100 years from now, when you come and dig out that body, we'll do a test. And it will only say if you are a man or a woman. These other things are just, you understand, hecklers trying to put things in us. Because we know even from days in memorial, even from the Bible, it was wrong. From the story of Sodom and Gomorrah, it was wrong. And we speak about it right now. You can't force your culture. You can't force your culture on us. We have our own culture. We have our own beliefs. You understand? Right now, I can't force the West to do everything that we do here in our country just because they are the West. You understand? So whatever they have, whatever they believe in, let them believe in whatever they believe in, but they have to know for the first time we are going to stand and say no to this thing. Okay. I'm telling you the truth. Okay, and we are not losing this war. Okay, and, and maybe if I may ask, do you think the, end, uh, the dark ends when people are trying to push the LGBTQ thing? So many things are happening, yeah? And so many things are happening. And for me, I always say there are signs to tell you that these are the things that we never saw when we were young. You understand? Yeah. These are things that we never saw when we were young. So we need to ask ourselves so many questions. Why are they happening right now? Why exactly right now? You understand? Yeah. Even the timing of these things. Why now? And when you read about the news happening across the world, you feel like there are some punishments that even the, the world is, is receiving from all this that is happening. You understand? And more so, if you follow, if you follow whatever is happening in the world, that's why so many people are embracing Russia and China because the Chinese will not come and force their culture on you. You understand? If you're doing business, do business. Malizane, come and kulipa SDR, mtalipa yu SDR, paka Malizane ishe. Like they never come with imposing their culture on us, telling us, now, before we give you money, you must do this. You understand? So, we can't be always scared of those sanctions and accept their culture. No way. I know people will say, hey, anongia na mepa shati ya wazungu, anongia... There are things we will appreciate. There are things we will not appreciate. Even for them, there are things they embrace from us, but there are things they can never embrace from us. Ndiyo inasemekana ulipewa milioni kama 20 unyamazie history na ishe na wache kuongea when nile maisha yake usani. Nilipewa nilipewa ama nipewe? Ndio, mimi nilipewa Twitter kumsea kipiga story hapo. Dem flani alika story kwa Twitter. Ikaanza kushika. Aka delete. Na sijui kama nilipewa hiyo story. Anasema nimelipwa pesa. Ndio nakwambia sasa story ikaanzia hapo pia ikaanzia au anampewa pesa kama hajapewa maybe anda kupewa you understand my point whether i'm given money or not i cannot take that money has it happened maybe kuna mtu ame offer maybe kuta asa anaofa ni vonye nini na pesa i don't know if you has it happened no 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 no, no, no. no. i can I, i can tell you the truth aija <laughs> happen all nimepata ni threats but user na nimeambia wase I'll deal with these people when we meet. What if it happens? Mm. I cannot take because let me, tell, let me tell the truth. Maybe in repeat your sessions mingi that we were given money in a situation whereby you feel like you're struggling in life but you can't take because of your virtues mm. and what you stand for. Because can you imagine he can let an pig up as I I am skinny me to go up as you look at me and you're like hey this you understand because for me it's not about money it's not about, for me it's about our foundation and our posterity I believe our kids I'm a parent as a parent I'm, I'm speaking as a parent as a parent I will not allow such thing to happen and if I'm I have such a platform and a brand that God has blessed me with let me use it to stand for the truth yeah Okay, 
you pray for Kenya and you pray for the LGBTQ wa change nini we get hata kama tutapiga magoti tutupiga magoti tuombe nchi yetu yeah yeah cause for me i believe it's a high time yeah? that right now we look at things differently it may look like a joke but it's as serious as it gets but the virtue the, the, the highest the supreme court of the country decides on something like that it means this thing is deeper than we think yeah so 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 we can pray Let's pray. Father Lord, we come before you to thank you and to honor you. We bless you for your goodness and your power and your glory. I bless you for the journey from Rwanda to Nairobi. And uh, as I met the press locking of glory, this is a message to, to our, our beloved country. The things that are happening in our country, Lord God, we know you know, Father. You know everything, my Father. You know to the deepest point, my Father, that we, even for us, we, our minds cannot comprehend. It's deeper than we think, Lord God. But we know in you, Lord, Lord Jesus, we are covered. We are protected. King of glory, change people's minds. Change people's mindset. Let us, my Father, King of glory, come back to you, to worship you, to praise you, to listen to you, and to understand your word. King of glory, I pray even for these young people who are here right now, God. Bless their future, protect them and guide them. They are doing a hard job, my Father, Lord God, to even bring to light things that are in the dark, Lord God. And we believe right now, as we condemn the LGBTQ, we love the people, we love everyone. We don't, we don't hate anyone, but we hate the sin. We condemn the sin and we love every people. We thank you and we honor you. For it's in Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Anytime.